So do I need to block my article that I just made? Well, I'm going to tell you. So it really depends on which article of clothing or item that you're making to determine if you need to block it. Not everything does well with blocking. First things first, what material did you make this article out of? Did you make it out of pretty acrylic like this? Well, acrylic's kind of notorious for not blocking well. It can be blocked. You have to steam block it, a little bit of heat and a lot of steam, and you'll be able to get it to lie flat and put it into place, let it dry, because all blocking is is getting something wet, pushing it into place, and getting it to stay in that shape while it completely dries. Once it's dry, it'll retain its shape. So acrylic needs to have a little bit of heat added to that if it's going to stay because that causes the fibers to sort of not truly melt melt, but heat makes them more pliable. If it's cotton or if it's wool, you're good. Just dampen it somehow, push it in a place. You might have to pin it and then let it dry. You'll be fine. Now the next question is, what are you making? Something such as this doily that I made. This is 100% cotton crochet thread in size 10. I made with a 1.5 millimeter hook. It took quite a long time and it was all kinds of crinkly and disjointed and looked quite funny when I was done with it. So all I did was I laid it flat on the table. I took a squirt bottle such as this that's just filled with plain old water, squirted it, pushed it into place, made sure it was damp on both sides so that way I got it exactly as flat as I wanted it. And then once it looked just the way I wanted it, I let it dry. So that's kind of the main reason you want to block something is if it's not in quite the right shape so your tension could have been a little bit off. It could be just the nature of the beast with the materials you made. It could be the nature of the stitch that sometimes you have to pull and press it out. That's when you want to block it. Or if you really want it to look nice when you're giving it to somebody else. Blankets are one of those things where sometimes blocking is very handy. Like last year I did the 2018 Moobly Cal, so the Moobly Crochet Along. And I should have blocked each and every one of my squares because what happened was they were all slightly different sizes and I went to put it together and it was hard because everything was a little bit off. I was able to compensate. However, it was a little bit more challenging than it needed to be. And had I blocked, it would have been easier. But for the most part, I don't block blankets because the minute you wrap yourself up in it and start cuddling with somebody and you get that buttery popcorn and it makes a mess and then you have to wash it, all that blocking's pretty much undone. So just remember when you need to or when you think it will make it look a little bit better and if you want it to look that little bit better, go ahead and block the item. Now, another question related to blocking is, do I have to get the styrofoam mats? No, you do not have to get any special material if you want to block. You can steam block by simply hanging the item in your shower and taking a really hot steamy shower. You get the heat, you get the moisture, and you can then push it into position afterwards and let it dry. Um, for blankets, you don't need the styrofoam mats that become absolutely huge. You can use either a towel or you can use, um, you know, those little puzzle pieces, that styrofoam puzzle pieces that little kids play with um, and are really just kind of fun to put together when you're having a bad day. If you grab some of those and pin it to those, you could need pins. You don't have to have pins. You can also put like heavy books or something on the edge as long as you don't mind the books getting wet. Um, you can use a spray bottle. You can use an iron, not directly on your piece. Um, pretty much shouldn't ever iron a piece unless the yarn specifically says you can iron it and even then I wouldn't. 
but you can use the steam setting on your iron to push to spritz water or spritz steam at your item because any way that you get it wet, any way that you get it into place, and any way that you're able to let it dry in position works. So what works what works for you, works for you. What works for me, works for me. I like my spray bottle. So anyway, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, post them in the comment box down below. If we get enough questions, it might result in another video of a similar topic. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy crafting. Bye.